today we're going to do a nice, easy, quick animation. We're going to blow up the moon. So first we want to get rid of this square, cube, whatever. We're going to go Shift A. We're going to go UV, UV sphere. No. And then we're going to go Shade Smooth. I'm going to go new material. I want to go add in the material, which will be image texture. Open. Once you've got it, go over to this icon. The shading icon. Make it think. Get rid of all the scene lighting and stuff. Not scene lighting, the atmosphere of wild lighting and then you'll have your texture you want to duplicate it can I add in a displacement put the color into the height uh, put like so and then you can mess around with the scale once you've done that and you're happy with it, go over to layout, grab your scene light, move your scene light around where, wherever you really want it to go. I'm going to put mine, I think, around about here. I think it gives me a good view of the moon. And then we are going to go blow it up. So you want to go to edit, preferences, and we want to turn on the cell fracturing. So make sure that's clicked on. Once it's clicked on, we're going to go select this moon object. Go add. No, we're not going to go object. Quick effects X cell fracture. And two. Okay, and now it's going to go ahead and do everything that it needs to do. Now, once it's done this, we're going to go delete the original sphere. And we're just going to be left with all of these pieces, like pieces move out. So we're going to select all of them. We're going to go object, we're going to go rigid body and active. Now we're going to go to this cone and wherever, the scene, sorry. Go to the gravity, you're going to make the gravity zero. If you make the gravity plus, the ball will move up, the globe, world, whatever. If you make it negative, it will go down but we want to have it stationary so make it zero now we're going to go add in a force field which I'm going to use force and we're going to make this force Two thirty, and that's round about five. As you can see, it blows up all crazy and stuff. And I'm I'm happy with that. But I'm gonna go add final thing which would be a point light I'm gonna make this a nice orange and we're gonna put it up at 500 like so and you can see the cracks um, there's not much I can do about that let me go to camera view and then turn everything off and 
There we go. That is us blowing the moon up. Um, quickly for my rendering settings, I'm just going to go to leave it at 24 frames here. If you're doing it as a video and you not want to take a photo of it, and as I'm using Mac, I'm going to go to quick, quick time and leave all those settings there. But thank you guys for watching.